PC Perspectives coverage of CES 2015 is brought to you by Logitech. See the latest gaming peripherals at gaming.logitech.com. Hey everyone, Ryan Shroud here from PC Perspective at CES 2015. We're visiting EVGA. We've got a couple of new things we're going to show you, uh, both of which are going to be available in February, but don't have prices, so don't ask me. Uh, the first one we've got here is the EVGA GTX 980 Hydro Copper. Uh, as you can see here, we essentially have uh, the standard blower fan design and kind of chassis design of uh, GTX 980, but we're using a they're using a self-contained water cooling kit here. It's a single thickness, 120 millimeter radiator with a 120 millimeter fan attached. Um, this is what the cooler itself looks like here. Uh, you can see that it's basically set up. It's designed by uh, EVJ and Asatech. It will just basically mount to the same exact four pinholes. You don't need any kind of adapter. You don't need anything like that. Uh, and they're saying they're seeing low temperatures in the in the 40C range. Now, interestingly, EVJ is going to sell this in February. They haven't announced a price yet, but I don't expect it to be that much more expensive than some of the other 980 lines. They're also going to sell just the cooler itself. So if you have a 980 uh, or 970 or whatever, it will fit uh, already. Uh, then you with the, with the same below lower design, it will come with the shroud, and you'll be able to buy this, uh, they're thinking like in the $50 to $60 range, which is actually pretty cool. So you don't need any adapters for that if you know what uh, video card you're going with. Now the other new GPU they have is all, another 980. This is GTX 980 Kingpin, part of the Classified series, and this is one of their, this is essentially their flagship GTX 980. You can see you've got three power connectors, two 8-pin and an extra 6-pin. Uh, there's actually three LEDs on here that are all customizable and independent. You've got one here, two up here, and there's a third on the back, which is actually nice because you'll be able to see that uh, if it's installed in a normal case. Uh, one of the things I do like is they have these clear acrylic accents um, that you can actually see the heat pipe and some of the fin in. It's just a nice little aesthetic design. I like they've done some work with uh, the memory tracing to help increase overclocking there. Obviously, you'll be able to overclock this card as high as any other 980 on the market. One thing they do include that's neat is a uh, single uh, width like bracket here. So if you decide to buy one of these cards and then want to convert it over to water cooler, if you want to buy one of the EVGA hydrocopper water blocks that's coming out, uh, you'll see all the display connectors are on one side on purpose so that you can do this into a single slot design. Again, this will be available in February, uh, but we do not have pricing of that available yet. Still working out like what the, the voltage situation is going to be with overclocking, but hopefully the We'll, we'll, we'll figure out something here and they'll uh, be able to make this as overclocking beast as it appears to be. So that's the uh, classified, the Kingpin edition and the Hydrocopper, guys.